Now it's NES's turn, so here are my top 10 for NES. Starting off at number 10 is Excitebike. I've always enjoyed this game. It's a game where you have to use the bike mechanics to keep the bike from overheating. And not only that, you have Obstacle Course. It was a fun game. It was one of the original top 10 of my list because it's a game that you can play over and over and over again and get better at it, memorize the track, and you have to level out your car, your little bike. You can't just go, oh, I'm just gonna jump. If you over rotate or under rotate, you will flip your bike. And the fun little mechanic of like watching the car and the guy go it was so much fun. I recommend it if you haven't played it. It's definitely on Nintendo Switch Live. It's on the online service. You can try it out there. If not, you can definitely find it for the NES. It's one of the cheaper games. It's not super expensive, so definitely try it out. At number nine is Kirby's Adventure. This game took me a while to finish complete because it's a very difficult game if you don't know the end boss and I had to watch other people stream it and once I figured out the mechanics of where to put Kirby he was top corner or you have to keep him like running back and forth on the platform but this is a platformer that is one of the originals and one of the best it is fun because you you can figure out all the what is your best power up you inhale the power ups from the little minion people and you figure out do I want this one or that one? And once you learn them all, you can go, okay, this is my go-to. This is what I think will be the best for me. I had a fun time with this. If you ever can find Kirby's Adventures, I know it's going up in price, but definitely try it out. It's also on this Nintendo Switch Online. For sure, try this game. At number eight is Dr. Mario. This is a puzzle game that not many people know that there is an ending. It took me years. I finally finished Dr. Mario a while back, but it's a go-to replay game that I always would pop in and play every so often. It's on the Game Gear, it's on Game Boy. If you don't have it on the NES, you have multiple ways to play it. And again, it is on Nintendo Switch Online. It's definitely a go-to for me. If I'm ever bored or just want to waste some time, I grab my Switch and I play it for a few hours and try to get as high as I can. And if you ever get to level 20, keep going. You're almost there. It's the end. At number seven is also a puzzle game, and this is one of my go-tos as well. And you can finish this game. It does have a side B, and uh, when you play this, you definitely can finish it. There's like a little mission. Basically, get the people to their rocket ship, complete the rocket ship, and you fly off into space. And that is Tetris. Tetris is a go-to of mine that I've always had. I had this on the Game Boy. Sadly, you know, I've lost it over time and I get it back again, but this is a game that I definitely play on Nintendo Switch Online. I play the Game Boy version. It's a game that I've had so much fun over the years. If you're stressed out, again, you can play this game. It's a no-brainer. Like, you can put it to zero level and just keep going and keep replaying. I have lost my time over, like, you know, like, filler times when I'm like, oh crap, I didn't even realize I've been playing this for an hour. Did not realize this, but it's such a fun game. The tunes, the little themes are my go-tos. Like, I can just hear it and go, okay, that's Tetris. Let's go play. Somebody's playing Tetris. If I find it at a convention, I'll play for a little bit. And definitely, this is always going to be on my top 10. At number 6 is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade. This is a fun beat-em-up. I've always played this game. If anybody has it, especially on the convention floor, I will definitely go to it and play it. I don't care how long of the line it is. I will grab it and go. I always play Michelangelo. Sometimes I go with Donnie, just if I want an easier playthrough, because Donnie has a stick. You can use that. But it's definitely a game that I've enjoyed throughout the years. It's one of those things of like, hey, let's go for it. Let's play it. But Definitely a TMNT game that I recommend if you haven't played it on the Nintendo. You've got to try this out. At number five is a Zapper game, and that is Duck Hunt. I've always played Duck Hunt. It was one of the first games that I played on the Nintendo, and I have always loved this shit. This is my go-to whenever there's Zappers, like, anywhere, and they have a list of games to play. I go with Duck Hunt. Yes, the dog is laughing at you, and that's a frustrating thing, but it makes you motivate you to go and get all the ducks. Come on, you gotta do this. If you have never played it, it's literally just a shooter game where you put in the zapper, you pop in the game, and there's one duck, then two ducks, and then you have to keep going through each level and you have to get ducks. 
And if you lose any ducks, you don't get them at all, then your dog laughs at you and you lose the game. So, come on, try it out. If you never tried it, it's a go-to for me. I recommend it. At number four is one of the black box games as well, and that is Super Mario Bros. I have enjoyed this game over and over again. I play through it. I love it. It's a game that my family, I would watch like my uncle play it all the way through. You learn and memorize the levels. It is a difficult platformer at the end, but it's fair if you just memorize it, practice all the way through, you will figure it out. I have played this multiple times and every time I finish it, it's always like, hey, you did it again. And I've played through, um, if you have not seen, there is a Super Nintendo version. They remastered it for Super Nintendo. They did all three original games. So definitely try it out on that. If you have the Super Nintendo online, you can play this on there as well. So go grab it, play it. It's a good platformer. And number three is DuckTales. Doo. <laughs> if you ever played the NES game, you know all the shortcuts, you know everything. This game I played on Game Boy as well, and I learned all the shortcuts. I kept playing it multiple times. Sadly, I sold it back in the day. We would just sell games to get new games. And this is a game that I played it. I even have the remaster, and the remaster is not as good because they took out the shortcuts. But if you ever find it for the Nintendo, it's going to be a little pricey because it's a great game. It's a fun game. It's a platformer. And if you learn his mechanics of his little stick and how to bop people in the head, you're going to have a fun time with this. It's such a classic show, such a classic Nintendo game. Definitely worth your time if you haven't played it. And I know people who watch this videos are like, why are you recommending all these great games? I already know about them. There's somebody probably out there who's never seen a Nintendo game and I'm trying to get the young ones to enjoy the classics, the Nintendo classics. So definitely go for it. It's one of my, my go-tos. My family used to play it all the time. We used to pass the controller along and we go through as far as we could. And once I figured out the game and I beat it, I was just like, hell yeah, I gotta play it again. At number two is Super Mario Bros. 3. This game I have enjoyed most of like my life. I've played it off and on and it's a game that it's difficult. There's eight kingdoms, but each kingdom is vibrant, unique. The themes are awesome. I loved all the new power-ups. My favorite was the leaf. That was my go-to. Then it was the cape, the little power-up, and then it was the frog. If you have not played Super Mario Bros. 3, which is very rare, but I have seen a lot of people who have not, it's a lot of fun and people debate about this between super mario world and super mario 3 which is the best i can't choose because they're both good in their own different ways but for nintendo this is a classic it's on everybody's top 10 and i go play it whenever i can on switch i go play it all the time it's one of those things where i just i want to zone out i play either one or three sadly two is not on the list because it's just not for me but three Oh, chef's kiss for sure. And at number one, very few, I think, don't know what number one is going to be. But if you do, pause the video, tell me in the comments what you think number one is, and then play it again. And at number one, drum roll please, Popeye. Popeye is a game that the reason why it's at number one is because it's an arcade classic that you can't miss. You got to play it. It's a little bit more difficult on the arcade than it is on the Nintendo, but... It's a game that my family would play all the time. We would pass the controller around. We would try to get the highest score. Who can do the most loops? Because it's a game just like Donkey Kong where you have so many loops and then it changes and gets more difficult. And then you would go through and you try to get your lady loves little like notes and different things like that. This game is so classic. I wish more people would have it at conventions because you need to have tournaments, different things like that. It's, it's a game that I don't see it get as much love. It should get more love. And if you ever are running a convention, please have a tournament with this. Please pop this in. And don't do like a side tournament. Like, actually do like a real tournament. Like, a lot of people want to play this game. Have it on the convention floor in the replay. Play it all the time. Give it some more love. And if you have it on the Switch, get it. There's I know plenty of people that can emulate this. Find it on the emulator. Try it out. 
And there you have it, everybody. There is my top 10 for NES. Let me know what are some games that are on your top 10 for NES. So I'll catch you next time. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Before you roll out, hit the like button as well. And I'll catch you next time. NES hype!